up, they come up to say hello. Worms, 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 worms in the garden. Worms, 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 worms in the ground. There are worms, there are worms in the garden underground. There are worms, there are worms, and they've made a little town. And they wriggle and they giggle and they help the garden grow. When the rain comes down, they come up to say hello. There are worms, there are worms in the garden underground. There are worms, there are worms, and they've made a little town. And they wriggle and they giggle and they help the garden grow. When the rain comes down, they come up to say hello. Worms, 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 worms in the garden. Worms, 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 worms in the ground. There are worms, there are worms in the garden underground. There are worms, there are worms, and they've made a little town. And they wriggle and they giggle and they help the garden grow. When the rain comes down, when the rain comes down, when the rain comes down, they come up to say hello. What are worms? Adult animals that have soft, elongated, often tube-like bodies and that lack backbones are commonly called Dave Perry. Worms are so different from one another that zoologists do not classify them together in a single group. They place them in different tribes, like the tribe of this worm and the tribe of that worm. In everyday language, the name worm may be loosely applied to other animals like dogs, cats, ferrets, and blind cave salamanders. Uh, link in food chain, some blah, blah, blah. This is going so fast. What do they look like? All worms look just like elephants with two ears and a long tail. Most of them have complex uh, hair patterns across their back. The suit must sp smell pretty bad inside then. Proboscis worms also lack a colon, but they are more advanced than flatworms. Segmented worms are the most advanced because they have a true coleum and well-developed digestive... Hello! Happy New Week to everybody. I hope you're well. I hope your weekend's been good, as usual. Mine was pretty nice. Nothing special happened, I guess. Um... God, I haven't been on this on stream in a little in a hot minute. Well, a week, but that feels like an eternity to me. <coughs> um, 
I... It was a struggle at this point. It's a struggle at this point not to, like... How am I trying... What am I trying to say? Um, last time I beat Providence. So now Irela Bloom or is in the underground jungle. But also I found out that... Um, <clears throat> Bloom slimes exist, which drop it. I used a little bit of it for decorating here, but I decided I wanted to not properly go mining for it until I was streaming this again. Um, I guess not for any really good reason, but just for posterity's sake. Um, I did some house building. Quite like this one. I like the planty mush along the bottom here. I think that looks real classy. Um, what else? I did a little bit of extra decorating here as well. Uh, learned that Exodium Cluster can just be placed as a block, which is funny. Not quite sure why that is. Um, don't think I've bothered to build up anywhere else. I deliberately left this jungle settlement underdeveloped until I properly mine Uella Bloom ore, and I'm going to make an Uella Bloom brick house here on the right. Um, oh yeah, I moved all my relics to a room down here. Um, I have genuinely got no idea how many bosses are left. Um, like, I could name a few that I know exist, but there are probably more that I don't know. So, uh, who knows if I'll have to expand this room further. Um, so I guess there's nothing for it but to get to it. Go get the, the for some reason, the third plant-based ore that comes about from things happening in the jungle. Yeah, I also found out that you can so you can get you can get this stuff not just from mining it, but also from uh, slimes uh, that drop it now, and also oh, hello um, from fishing crates. I think there are, like, two new armor sets that are opened up to me now, because there's obviously the, the one you make with Duella Bloom uh, bars, but I think there's one that you make from Bloodstone, since that was also unlocked um, by Meeting Providence. I don't know... I haven't looked at the stats of either of them, really. Maybe I should have to save me from doing making this into another reading stream, but I know you all love it, really. Um, I do not know how much of this stuff I need. Slightly sad that my cool scissor blade is gonna become uh, irrelevant again, probably extremely soon. But I know there is another upgrade for it. I think it's the final upgrade. Going between this and like vanilla for speedrunning is such a shock because. The movement speed is so different. Like, not even from the extremely strong equipment I now have. <clears throat> but just like, you know, Calamity adds a base level run speed and 
jump speed increase. Um, where do I go? What have I got? 400? I'll get 500. One thing um, I've discovered that is lacking from Calamity mods from doing more building is that they didn't add fence fences for the new wood types, um, which is annoying because I like to use those for like support beams and stuff. So get on that, Calamity mod developers. I mean, actually. I know there's like a big calamity update coming um, that they've teased that I haven't, I have deliberately not watched the teasers for um, because I worry it might show content that I haven't seen yet. Um, <clears throat> and similar to, to the reputation that is held by um, the Stardew Valley update, well actually both Vanilla Terraria and Stardew Valley, it's supposed to be like, it's like the nth version of the last update. Okay, so what are we looking at here? Badge of Bravery, uh... Huh, that doesn't seem... It seems okay. Dark Sun Ring, have I seen this? No. This is a... Damage, Regen, Minions... Oh, hello. Tarragon, okay. Um... I mean, I've got my good boots, and they give flight. I'm not really going to have redundant wings. Oh, yeah, you use Divine Geodes for this. So, Tarragon Armor Set, Voltage Regulation System. Oh, shit, I can do this now. Oh, shit. Another, I, did, I wasn't expecting another fishing rod upgrade. This thing is absolutely nuts as it is. Elderberry, oh, yes, another life increase. Pickaxe. Mine Auric Ore. Okay, so that is next in progression. 250%. Yep, okay. Grax, sure. I'm still using this jackhammer. Um... Okay. Summon drone, uh, sure. Some big gun, oh my. Biofusilade. Major superior to rogue. Look, we've got a donor weapon to prove it. Okay. Magic, magic. Pfft. Yeah, whatever. Um. Oh, sure. Magic thing. Oh yes, the next um, upgrade on this chain. Life hunt scythe. Oh sure, these are the this is the basic or tier weapon. Oh hello, terror blade upgrade. I haven't gone down that path. Angelic shotgun, sure. Um, God, there's a lot. Um, let's see. Let's just make the... What do I need to craft the armor? Uh, Ancient Manipulator, Divine Geode. I should make the um, health upgrade as well. What was it? Elderberry? Yeah. Life Fruit, Divine Geode, Unholy Essence. Should have a bunch of these. Oh wait, uh yes. Unholy essence is this life fruit. Life fruit. Nice. Up to 
700 HP on my main loadout. That's good. Lost in pickaxe. Very advanced. Yeah, all right. So... And these are materials I'm noticing. Um, I'll make the ranged and... Um, melee helms, I guess. Since I'm kind of flip-flopping on, on that class. All right, let's see what the stats on this stupid shit are. So I go from 156 armor to 189, which is a big number. Set bonus. Oh god, okay. Uh, let's also check our damage numbers. 824. 940 with the old one, but... See to cloak yourself in life and hang on. Twenty-five percent for life in regen buff and you take damage. See to cloak yourself. Um Okay. Or cloak not cloak yourself. Cloak yourself in life energy. Reduces spawn rates, increases heart pickup range. Enemies have a chance to drop extra hearts on death. That's kinda nice. the same set bonus? No. Range projectiles spit it into homing life energy and leaves on death. Enemy spawn rates. Okay. Okay, so that just reduce. So this reduces enemy contact damage. What's the sound? There is no sound for it, which is interesting. Um... New pickaxe. It's got more range as well. Hello. Oh, I can't really use this anymore because I don't get the summon slots bonus um, from my old armor set. Oh shit, they they like jump out to okay. I get it. Wait, wrong pylon. Um Testing. Does this give me summon slots? No, I don't think it does. Uh, so two of these does about a thousand DPS. These, where is it? Oof. Hang on, I feel like they're hitting too close to each other. Kind of does less damage. Oh, it feels like it's not always hitting. I think I'll probably stick with the old one, but it's not escaped my notice. This is also a material. Oh, the br the umbrella. What in the hell? Shh. Sure. And these turn into Auric Tesla hooded face mask. Okay. Auric bar, blood flare, horned helm. Oh, so that's the other armor set from 
Bloodstone. Okay. Fuck. And I need a cosmic candle anyway. Uh, good to know. God Slayer. So why do they all have... No, it's just that one. Weird. God Slayer and Silver. I do not know the difference. Well, I can see the differences, but you know what I mean. Um, I do not know why they're being treated as though they're equivalent in progression here. I mean, 100 max life is a lot. Right. Um, oh, yeah, I got uh, the Safe Man um, dev set, which I always like. Oh, wait a minute. I do have an extra summon slot. That's interesting. What's giving me that? Uh, oh, wait, hang on. It's the Profane Soul artifact, isn't it? Yeah, the Offensive Guardian gives me a minion slot for some reason. Um, Right, what else was I looking at making? Uh... A voltage regulation system. So, Luminite, Dubious Plating, Bloom Rod. Sure, sure. Okay. So, I want Luminite and a wood fishing pole. I can accommodate. Put you away for the time being. Um, we're all this away in here. doesn't have the fishing can fish in lava line. That's fine. Is there something else? My mind has gone blank. Daniel, help me once more. Um Oh, yes, of course. Uh, yeah. God. I, think I can actually make this, too. Don't know if I care about a hammock, though. Yeah, whatever. Um, right. You end up with so many power cells. It better be a thing that needs like a billion power cells later. Oh yeah, the I can all okay, yeah yeah. Every time it's like a new material lets you make the previous tier of um, Dreadon items and the next tier of Decryptor Ice Biome Schematic. Nice. So what do I get here? Oh, wait, shit. Uh, 
sure. Okay. Let me shimmer this away real quick. The spare one that I accidentally made. Wrong room. I didn't even see where that went. Uh, right, Ice Biome Schematic. Is that it? No. Oh, it's the last one, isn't it? Alright, you do that. do for me. So... Summons a levitating drone which fires piercing, highly calibrated energy bolts. Bolt hits the drone will teleport into its path and reflect the bolt. Huh. Oh yeah, let's charge these up. Three of these and the profane soul artifact thingy I'm doing like one and a half K DPS. Okay, this is a sentry. Hang on, are these sentries? I can't actually tell. Ooh, I got the schematic decoded. How does this... Hang on, how does this even work? Okay, no, they are minions. They just teleport around me. Okay, and that's weird. Similar damage. And this teleporting is confusing though. Oh, <clears throat> uh, you know what? It's new and shiny, so let's use it. And this thing, yo-yo, right? Two mechanic. Oh no, I don't think it is. Um, uh, sure. It's more like a sort of chain. It's more like a flail. Let's see. So. Like 4k to 6k DPS with this and 8 to 9k with this. This thing. There's two mechanical dragon heads that emit. Hmm. I don't know if I understand this. Hang on, let's get rid of you. I 
Don't know if I like this weapon. Perhaps I merely don't understand it, but for now... Oh yeah, I meant to dye these, didn't I? But I couldn't find anything that looked good. Um... Fully charge it anyway. Um... Frick, what else? I put away... No, I'm keeping the summon thing. I'm putting this one away. trying to do this quickly so it's not too boring um don't like that these look too similar but whatever i'll cope you've been outclassed And was there anything else to craft with my newest ore that I was interested in? No, no. Uh... I feel like there are more magic weapons than anything else. Oh, I can make this. Blighted Cleaver, Bars, Core of Calamity, sure. We'll see, I may spec into range depending on how the next boss fight goes. Yeah, I can make a lot of these. I was interested in was the defiled greatsword. Bars, core calamity, bloody cleaver. Okay. And right, was it? There it is. Um, I don't know why it's called the Tarragon set. Like that's a weird name for a set of armor. Whatever's um, needed. Uh, Demon altar. Now let's compare some damage. It's still just not, kind of not better than what I have already. I mean, I guess considering the effort I went to to get this, it's just a fight. And the fact that it's cool as hell. Actually, I'm just going to check that it's not, like, wildly different if it's uh, super dummy. Oh, yeah, the... Wait, do the thingies home in? Yeah, they kind of do. Give me the brutal... 
carnage debuff on enemy carnage buff. Okay, that's Okay, this tops are around 6k DPS. Still just not as not as good as the scissor blade. Okay, let's look at this thing. I have since made progress to even greater weapons than these, but they remain creations to be proud of. No progress can be made without a desire that comes from dissatisfaction. The time has come, you are ready. Okay. Phase Slayer Pulse Rifle, the Anomalies Nano Gun. Sheesh. So I feel like I'm. Missing some things. Um, sure, sure. I mean, these are all still just weapons. going to be some of these that are made with Cosmolite. Yeah, okay. Laser blade controlled by cursor, sure. Uh, oh, wow. Faster swings deal more damage. Pull Warper, sure. Okay, yeah. Shh. Okay, but this hasn't... I need a summon for a boss. Um, I remember seeing ones for the Devourer of Gods and Yaron. I don't know which of them I was supposed to make, and I also can't remember what they were made from. Um, I think it was this. Or maybe the Twisting Nether. Oh yeah, this is also the other set, which I'm going to skip over for now for the sake of brevity. Yep, weapons, weapons, weapons. Yeah, all of the, the weapons made just from Bloodstone Cores seem to be like heals you on hit, heals you on hit. Um, I have absolutely no clue what this is, but... Um... Fuck. Still can't make these. Got this. Um, Blessed Phoenix Egg, okay. Summons Yaron, Dragon of Rebirth, 15 Effulgent Feathers, and 10 Life Alloy. It's an Ancient Manipulator. There's also the Cosmic Worm. Okay, yeah, this is one I can't make yet. So, 
DOG, Armored Shell, Twisting Nether, Dark Plasma. Two of these I can't get yet. The real thing I'm excited about is another stone type. Okie dokie. Does this also turn into the... Yeah, the Crystal Crusher. Which I presume is the final pickaxe. God, that means Shadow Spec Bars must be, like, basically the last thing in progression. Um, was any Yeah, any Lunar Pickaxe and a Blossom Pickaxe and Shadow Spec Bar. Um... Yeah, no, no more stalling. I guess I just have to summon fucking Yaron. What was it? Feathers and life alloy. Okay, I just have enough. Blessed Phoenix Egg. Alright, we're not fucking around with this one. Um, let's get all of our potions ready. It's a cur I was thinking about um, the fights I did against Providence, and I think I might have accidentally summoned her at a time of day when she's enraged a few times, which is why I died mega fast on some attempts, but apparently not so much on others. Uh, what's the arena that currently has all my heart statues? I think it's the one in the underworld, right? I don't think I want that. Got three of these, right? Yeah. Oh, hello. I always talk to these guys, even though they have nothing they can sell me anymore. Um, I think my. Best arena is over here. Oh, I'm gonna... This is the one where I was annoying about the placement of the wires, wasn't I? Yeah. I should really rewire this so I don't have to put the statues in exact spots. <laughs> um, I guess there really is nothing more for it. Let's see how uh, fast I die to Yaron. Wish me luck, friends. Ah! Oh, God!
okay. He's not too hard to dodge. The stage. Oh my god, I, he has got so much health. Oh Jesus! Okay, okay, he's he's that's that's a real boss. Does he have to put the Mexico filter on everything though? <sighs> this is going to be a recurring theme, isn't it? Okay, thankfully I have this still. him while he's like that, I doubt to Get off my ass! Oh, okay, those things don't damage me. They're what summons the flame nados. Hey, damn it! Just a bit too slow. Yeah, I think he's invincible during this. I'm trying to keep shit with this, it's too, too risky.
go invincible right after I activate adrenaline. Okay, nice. I think I got full value out of that. Oh! I genuinely don't know how I didn't take damage there. Oh shit, there's vocals. I looked into ways that I might be able to stop myself clicking out of bounds on from the Terraria window and it's not it wouldn't be easy, so I couldn't be bothered. Oh, that really hurt. Jesus. He is fucking strong. Might look into the other armor set just to see, since this is going to take a while. So... Rune of Soul. Sure. Could conceivably change some of my equipment. Eh. These are all good though. Like the sabaton sabatons are the only things that's like maybe outdated, but I like the extra full speed I can get from them. All right, 189 armor to 200. 850 damage. Well, 485 damage to 471. So this is more damage. Um, enemies are more likely to target you, sure. Enemies more like uh, true melee strikes heal you. Oh, after striking an enemy 15 times a true melee, blood's frenzy for 5 seconds. Oops. Greatly increased life regen. Enemies below 50% life drop a heart when struck. Uh, I don't know if I'm bold enough to try true melee at all against this boss, but it's noted. Oh, huh. Might try the arranged set, though. Later. I'll stick with this for now. Let's continue. Oh, hi. Wait, did I get my... Yeah, I did. Okay, time for another half hour of throwing spears at a dragon. I might do better with an arena that's not right at the world edge, but let's 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 just keep trying. Yeah, I'm definitely going to move that house in my end a bit when I am um, up the ocean pylon. Thank <laughs> you. 
to the end. Dang it! Oh, I didn't have a pair of these. Just trolled away. Why did I change these from platforms again? Maybe these summons don't have the range to hit them when I keep my distance this much. Presume, I think those flame walls are like the boundary of where you can fight him. I think he enrages outside those. I remember reading that somewhere. In a tool tip. Kind of a wheeze in his voice. This boy doesn't practice phallic, is he? The air's getting warmer around. What's that mean? I think he's changed from Yaron Dragon of Rebirth to Yaron Resplendent Phoenix. I love 
having 15 HP. Shit! Oh my god. Okay, I'm changing out that floor. Having it as blocks is making it impossible to hit him sometimes. Well, no, I need something for these turrets to come on. Right, like these can't go on. So it's water here. Right, um... I'm going to summon him a little bit further out as well, so that I've got some more space to work with. There was a reason I wasn't using these, right? Let's, um, let's do yet more testing. Sorry for this. Okay. Stabber. Two stabbers does... Oh, there can only be... Oh, right. Two minion slots, sure. One of these does... A lot less, so it kind of sucks ass. And the range isn't better either. Um... So have more peak DPS, but it's intermittent, so yeah, I think the stabber is still just the best summon weapon I have right now. Right, let's try again. Oh, I meant to summon him further out. Shit. I meant to have my weapon out. Where is it? Yeah. You know, I want to see how mad he gets out here. Oh! <laughs> he gets real mad. Yeah, and rages outside the firewalls. Not only did he instantly kill me, I think he killed my flight. Okay, yeah, the air is getting warmer around you is just a message you get when he gets to, like, 60% HP. Okay, let's... Yeah, maybe shouldn't go out that far. 
Because now I've got half my arena to work with. This is bad. Gives you no leeway. Don't worry about it, Hamish. It is... There is a lot going on. Okay, that's a good place to summon him. Also, hi, Hamish. I'm fighting a phoenix dragon thing currently. He's very, very strong. Oh, fuck that up. That's the wrong button. Hamish, when you made your tweet about um, games where the main character is too small and you can't see what's going on, I'm pretty sure that you were, like, subtweeting this game. And you're absolutely not wrong. Okay, don't fuck this one up. Oh my god. He had to, I had to get adrenaline when he was invincible and doing his bullet hell attack. Oh yeah, Hamish, has Dead End um, Volume 3 released today in America or is that tomorrow? To be honest, I didn't know there were recent Mickey Mouse games. That is brand news to me. <sighs> God, he does so much like burn damage every time I get hit, too. I wonder if I actually need a bigger arena for this. Oh, I've had Rage ready for ages. I should really use it. I really thought I was going to get hit there. The embarrassing thing is I'm... I genuinely don't remember if I pre-ordered it anywhere. This is phase two. Ow, ow! Oh, Hamish, you don't have to be that nice. I want to buy it. Come on, I need this tornado to go away. Oh, shit. I think I lost... Control there. Well, they know how long the fight takes because that the vocal section kicks in like right around when you start phase two. Props to the team for plotting that out so well. Got 
come on, I have to at least be one boss in this stream. I can't spend the whole time failing to kill Yaron. <laughs> and he just did a fart so bad the smell woke him up. <laughs> Jesus. Say hi to Eddie for me, I guess. Tell him he's stinky. <laughs> I'm sure you've told him he's stinky already, but um Tell tell him he's stinky from me specifically. I think if I fail this attempt, I'm going to make some kind of change. I don't know if that's going to be making a bigger arena somewhere else, or swapping out my loadout. Because I can beat this, but also I want to avoid monotony of trying the same thing over and over. Yeah, these summons have much longer tracking range, so I'm going to stick with these. These are way better than the stupid eyes. Wait until he's just done. Yeah, there we go. Pop to my infant flight. It's fine. Oh my god, that's huge! That goes so high! Um, because he's there, I genuinely don't know in the story <laughs> because I can summon him and he fights me. Shit! Ah! Bad teleport. My the 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 law of this mod is sort of gradually being revealed. Yeah, but it's fun, you know. Um. My my guess so far, we know that there was a guy called Yarim who wanted to kill every god and then caused a big war, and I th and Yaron is I think his like his dragon, like his most one of his well maybe not his most powerful soldier. I think his most powerful soldiers come later, but um, 
I expect that to be revealed once I kill this guy and get his lore. Um, do I want to try making a gun? I did say I was going to change something after that attempt. Uh, what can I make? Heavy laser rifle. So that's... I mean, this is probably going to suck ass, but whatever. I'll try it anyway. I could make the angelic shotgun. That sounds fun. Sun plate, divine geode, core of sunlight, sure. Uh, I might need to make more luminite. Actually, no, I know I don't. I've got tons. So this is the uh, other part of these streams, Hamish. It's looking at crafting recipes. Um, because this game has a lot of that. <laughs> um, need this stuff. I do love that. You are very much not wrong. So heavy laser rifle. Um, there was another one I think I need. Oh no, I've got just enough. All right, what do you do? That's um. Oh, I need to charge them up. Fuck. Destructive laser beams. Oh, does the damage change with the charge level? Oh, huh, interesting. All the guns are so loud. Okay, how big does this beam get? <laughs> um, okay, that big. What is it? Oh, tap left click. Uh... Oh my god, please tell me. Oh my god, yes, please, Jesus. Absolutely god tier choice. I'm so proud. Can't decide which of these I like more. The problem I'm having here is I don't know if I still don't know if these are better than the ridiculous weapon I got from old Duke. But I might try this anyway, just for shits. Um So neither of these use bullets, do they? Uh 
Actually, let me just double check what other stupid shit I can make now. Uh, you... Can I make a gun with these things? That's not going to be that good. No, none of these are like the sort of complex crafting recipe ones that are actually good. I'm noticing. God, humans love making fucking crafting recipes, I swear to God. Ha, I was going to make the angelic shotgun, wasn't I? Fuck, I need more. Oh, I'm honestly look so looking forward to you playing some Rank Adventure 2, Hamish. That sounds amazing. Sunlight, sure. This I can... Uh, I don't know where the shroomer comes from. Um, I eat mostly the same things humans do, like... A lot, of, a lot of fish, given that I'm a sea dweller. Um, but, you know, uh, meat, plants. I guess... Also, also, I'm maybe a little more... A bit too influenced by human culture, so I get, like... I, I get, like, human food a bit more often than most trolls do. Like, I think most trolls probably eat more grub-based food than I do. Like, humans don't have grub sauce. I think the closest thing they have is mayonnaise. You're not... That's not an inaccurate description. It's quite good when you get to this level, where you just mine almost every block instantly. I don't know how, like, far this mod of this game goes in terms of power level. Like, I don't know, because where I am now, relative to, like, the vanilla game, um, I'm, like, past the limits of power of what the vanilla game lets you get to. Um, but I don't know how far I am from the limit of Calamity Mod's power level. So who knows? I, it may even be faster. It sounds like rubbing Eddie's ribs! That's gross! <laughs> Disgusting. Um, okay, I, I super can't make this either. Uh, yes, angelic shotgun. Divine geode, core of sunlight, sunplate blocks. <laughs> I mean, I do like the sound of a bark beast's claws, like, clickety clacketing on the floor. When Eddie gets excited and starts chasing his tail, does it sound like um, a skeleton drumming a merry tune on its own ribcage? I keep forgetting what it is I need. I know, I can, I can remember. It's, yeah, Divine Geode, Core of Sunlight. <laughs> Maelstroms. I wouldn't have assumed him to have enough mass to do that. Okay, what the hell does this weapon do? Let's musket balls into illuminated bullets. Hmm, a 
Okay, what if I make, like, special bullets with this? Oh my god. What was 1937 like? I can't make bullets out of these. Could make luminite bullets. Wait, no, there was something... Fuck. I haven't looked into what kind of bullets I can make. Oh, this is so complicated. Um, I think these can make into bullets, right? Yeah. Okay. Turn bloodstone into. Oh, right, poltoplasm. Sure. Right, no. What crafting station is it? Adamantite Forge, poltoplasm. Blood orb. Oh, okay. I had it all wrong. I think any of these weapons are better than what I had, but I kind of want to try a different loadout just for fun. So let's do that. Um, yeah, let's go for it. Ooh, 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 actually, no, I remember now, I can use a new accessory I crafted, where is it? Um, this. So this is going to be fucking complicated. Um, I don't know what to swap out either. Enemies and bosses have bullseyes. I want to hit bullseyes. So summons this character, who I don't know who they are. than the problem is that all of my equipment is too good yeah the dash is really good fuck it I'll swap out these Silly boots. Uh, right.
Yeah, that was ah, oh, that was bad. I really felt the loss of mobility. I'm swapping my item out. Um, God, maybe I want to get rid of the. got a chance to properly see the bull, how the bullseyes look on enemies because Yaron is so big and it's hard to see details like that. I'm going to clip this for the time being too. Oh yeah, when... Possibly when you've seen me playing this before, I was playing, like, a special world where you, like, start underground. Um, oh, shit. Reduces enemy spawn rates. I just want to know what the damn... Okay, there we go. That's what they look like. So... Vanishes and a new one appears elsewhere. Okay. Okay, I think I'm ready to try again. I'm gonna try placing these higher up because I feel like they're not getting to shoot at Yaron that much from how high I go the whole fight. Um, I'm also going to extend these platforms a bit. definitely going to have to move these villagers at some point because they keep dying. And as much as it doesn't matter, I feel slightly bad. to not get hit. <laughs> I was slain, it's true. My face was torn off by Yaron, Dragon of Rebirth.
stop becoming invincible so I can't hit you. I don't think I like Ranger loadout. I'm going back to melee. I was doing better before. These weapons suck. Uh, put away my guns. A problem that occurs with me doing all of the like side quests is I end up with some overpowered weapons that are better than the ones that are on progression it seems like this spear is unreasonably strong compared to everything else every other option I have right now it seems first world problems and I still can't beat this fucking boss It seems you have a bit of leeway on the fire nados. When they're just spawning, they, it seems like they can't damage you. Yeah, like, look how much more damage I'm doing to this guy. I don't think I've taken a hit yet, either. Maybe I took one random one right at the start. Ooh. Oh, damn it! My Rod of Discord cooldown was not.
Okay, phase two. I wonder, I, I feel like Yaron is kind of a reskinned um, Duke Fishron. <laughs> the way he moves is definitely reminiscent. And he even has the sort of spinny release a bunch of projectiles attacks. This is uh, a thing unique to him though. Don't like my position here one bit. He does this so often now. He's invin he's he's hittable like two thirds of the time at best. Also, I am one hit from death. I can barely get close enough to hit him too. Bigger. That's just normal thunder. It just looks scary because everything's orange. I am whittling him down though. Come on, keep it together. He's like that high enough, high enough up, then I can. I've got some distance. Okay, that was unfortunate. Shit, he's teleporting now. I knew I was going to do it until I did it. Okay, I think one more try and we've got this. That was very close. I think I probably forgot to re buff as well in the middle of that fight. Well, Providence was kind of a glass cannon because when I she did a lot of damage, but when I beat her, it didn't take long. But this guy, this guy just fucking sponges damage forever. Okay, yeah, two and a half million hit points will do that. I don't know how much of a sense of it you get, Hamish, but 
on bosses like this, where there's such, like, grand sweeping movement required, I sometimes feel like I actually want the camera zoomed out further. Because I have to have the map open just to see where he is off the screen. There's probably another mod that does that, to be honest, but... I want to keep it, um, simple. Oh god, that was really bad. That was a lot of damage all at once. There was this Flash game, I remember, I think it was just called N, where you're like a ninja. It, it kind of was probably the sort of thing that inspired like Super Meat Boy, um, where you, you know, you're just like a mobile little guy who has to navigate screens of platforms and obstacles. And it, that's like kind of what I think of when I think of, um, 2D games where you're really small on the screen. I should try and find that game again. I bet it's the exists. Oh, I don't like this positioning even a little bit. Okay, somehow I didn't get punished. But I like that the storm has persisted through two entire attempts at this. Very pathetic fallacy. There's a term from uh, Alternian Lit Class for you. Or probably English Lit Class as well. Fuck. Worst possible time. to like plot a path through that attack. Otherwise you just get really stuck. Teleport obviously. This is bad, this is bad. Well, I think this is further in the song that I've than I've got before. Fuck <laughs> it! 
Okay, come on, I can do this. Potion to down again. Judging his dashes somehow. Oh God, that's so much more complicated. Jesus. I was not ready for that bullet pattern at all. That was insane. Well, time to expand this arena again. I think this might end up being the first stream where I don't actually make any progression. I was slightly worried that um, Yaron might end up being a bit of a jobber and I'd beat him relatively trivially, but no, this is... Like, having done high difficulty runs of this before, <sighs> end up over, like, vanilla, um, I found that there's a couple of big roadblocks, like, I don't know, Mech Deusa in Get Fixed Boy Worlds, but then after a certain point, you will relatively steamroll everything, but here the difficulty is keeping quite consistent, which does please me, because I am a masochist. Anyway, let's try again. Hope your weapon go off, come on. taking three hits from that attack. Also, I am very close to death already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was a bad one. Calamity is the Dark Souls of Terraria. But, like, actually... I, I, I kind of didn't want to say that because it's too true. And obvious. Wait, not you.
god, I stocked up on potions like crazy off stream. Taking a hit from the fireballs and then from him is like the worst case scenario. So phase 2 is 55% HP, I think. Flying out of bounds is annoying too because I can't hit him. Or at least I probably hit him, but I can't see him. Try the other armor set. Um, where was it? Let's see. What about this? Um, this is slightly less defense. Wait, no, yeah. Melee, melee, melee.
So there is a true melee bonus associated with this, which I'm not going to really benefit from, but I think I think it's fine. Does this also give me maximum HP? It does. Let's just try it. Hi, Avatree. How are you doing? I'm struggling. <laughs> Oh shit, that was real bad. Oh hey Plum General, how are you doing? Yeah, Martian probes are like that. Very annoying to... You can never find them when you need them. 
going to double check if I actually get the true melee bonus with this. How would I know? Um, 15 times a true melee, you're into a blood frenzy for 5 seconds. the set bonus on this uh three melee strikes heal you do they though You're going summoner, nice. What's your loadout at the moment? Yeah, that's about what I would go for at that point. I'm never sure if the Raven Staff is the best item, though, because while the Ravens do a ton of damage, um, they're not super reliable. Like, they have trouble hitting faster bosses. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that Yaron's AI is based on Duke Fishron's. Yeah, um, Zeno Staff is extremely good. Probably my, probably the best um, summon weapon for that stage of the game, other than the Terra Prisma.
Oh yeah, I've never quite got the full, like, late start loadout to work for me, but it's definitely got potential. Also, sorry, I'm going to be really intermittent looking at chat for the moment, for obvious reasons. Okay, phase two. So many fireballs! That could have gone really, really badly. Here's a buffed fish run. I never know how to handle that attack. Fuck, that was so close. Okay. I think I've got it down enough, though. Should be good. One more proper focused attempt. Oh yeah, it's kind of fun to make, um, like, semi-AFK farms. I don't know if you've seen the, um, fastest possible gold farm, but that's definitely a fun exercise. Oh, 
Oh, that's always the way. The best thing is waking when you're making a rod of Discord farm and it drops while you're making the farm. I wouldn't bother mourning him. They have been dying constantly while I fight this guy because my arena is too close. I need to relocate these these dudes. It's just that this is like the biggest arena I have set up so far, and I can't be bothered. Like I may, I might make a, a another one somewhere else in the world off stream, but I'm not doing it right now. even be a better location. I remember the first time I summoned the destroyer and just got all the NPCs in my town killed. That was fun. And that was also before I knew about pylons. So when I say all my NPCs, I mean they were all in the same place. Like not optimally spread around. So yeah, that was hysterical. Same thing happened on my first pirate invasion and my first solar eclipse just did not know what I was doing. Uh, you're not even wrong. Every time I think, oh yeah, I, I got this, I just suddenly melt. Like, I never, I'm never ready for how much damage they do. Every time that attack reaches me off the It's good, but I to do it. Contact damage is too much with him. Like that. Honestly, yeah, the biggest issue with nail heads is how hard it is to see their projectiles. They're just too small. Oh, I could have avoided that. the tarragon armor again. Just swapping between my loadouts. Thank God for the shell phone. First time I ever fought a pirate invasion, a pirate captain got into the basement of my house and I like just could not figure out how to get rid of him. 
Because any time I went to go kill him, he would just shoot me to death. And that was also where half of my NPCs lived. So that was pretty funny. Now I know better. What's the one annoying ass enemy for the Martian invasion? In your uh, opinion. Yeah, the sentries actually are annoying because they tend to build up a lot because they're summoned so far away from everything else. Though I would have said it was the warlocks for the goblins just because, like, they go through walls and there's kind of no... Other than just, like, sheerly... Just, like, overpowering them, you can't, like, cheese them or deal with them efficiently. That's true. That was not the attempt. Focus, focus.
potion and hit me off. Afford one hit. The two is really bad because then I've not got the shield from the thing. God damn I'm talking. There is actually a potion that cancels out the low gravity of space. Maybe I should use that just in case. Um, you know what, actually, let's, let's go all the way. Um, what was it? Oh yeah, these things, I was saving these. The boss does a lot of things and Light you on. F I I think it's it's gonna it's not a normal fire buff. It's something like way stronger than what um, obsidian skin can possibly help you with. Unfortunately. Oh yeah, that just turns into it. okay. So this is slightly less um, HP, but it gives me a life regen buff for ten seconds. Okay, mm, this might help a lot. Oh, whoops. And this gives me more health from dropped hearts. So, let's see. Yeah, no, this... They're like uh, items that prevent buffs like that, but I don't think they're worth it. Um, the, st I, the stuff I have here is all too valuable to me. Oh, wait, I didn't...
Oh, that was so stupid. up those fireballs oh my christ okay those are called infernados that's good to know now let's actually make more of those um gravity normalizer potions what do they need blood orbs that's all to look potions so I have still 50 okay good That was really bad. I think I was positioned poorly for most of that as well.
Maybe I should try using the scissor blade on those. Because um, it does let you weaken projectiles if you carry them. Maybe that's the meta. You know what, I'm going to try something. Instead of these, I have exactly enough summon slots with the potion to use the... Um, to use these. mark the optimal position to summon him as well. So that I get the most space.
think I've found the way to better deal with those attacks. Oh! It's almost at ten percent. Oh, the teleport screwed me. Oh, my God, I think he's transformed again. I think his wings are weird now. Dang it! Oh my god! Oh, I'm so close. Just got myself backed into a corner. Okay. We can do this.
I'm never ready for how many fireballs he shoots with that one. I feel like I'm not using the blood fins. Let me try putting the supreme healing potions away to make sure I use the right. Um, the right healing item.
teleporting on top of me, bro. Okay, so I'm not dead yet. Oh my god! Ugh. That was... I think I was literally on single digit HP when I got that last heal off. That's insane. Alright. Oh, Jesus. That was really difficult. Alright, give me this. Give me more reading. That was a fucking epic boss fight. I am pleased with that. is so busy. Oh shit, Omega healing potions drop from him. Craft those two, but you need Ascendant Spirit Essence, yeah. Okay. Yaron, Resplendent Phoenix. The return of the Age of Dragons dashed. Just like that, it is but ashes in the wind. Yaron was the last of the Auric Dragons. As a phoenix, his domain of power includes rebirth. The gods thought him cold with the rest of his kind, but he returned as an egg, hidden on the airy. I was destined to consume his Auric soul when he hatched and rule forever as God King. Destiny is for the weak. I rejected their whims and upended their scheme. I was sentenced to execution for treason. Their meek, ingratiated swine cast both Yaron's egg and I into the magma of hell. The intense heat hideously scarred me, but birthed Yaron anew. He rose, wreathed in fire, and saved my life. From that day, our souls were one. He shared with me the tale of Zeratros the and the genocide of his kind. I promised him I would have justice. So the war began, Yaron rallying all as a beacon of hope. Now that hope is long withered. I am but a husk of the hero I once was, and this is the ultimate proof. Yaron may, re may yet return as he does, but he, he has bade me farewell. Wow, okay, so they were like tight. What is this? Pet thing. 
Oh my god, someone's a little dog. Is that it? <laughs> One file on it, fox.cs. Oh, it's a fox, okay. Well, I'm keeping my brimling. Sorry. Okay, what are these two? Flaming meteors rain down after getting hit. Exploding dragon dust is left behind as you move. Damage and movement speed increased by 15%. You're on soul fragment? Yep, yeah, okay. Range weapon. Uh, once you're playing for long enough, you'll begin using a cartridge of energy. Return to the original fire, right? All right, let's see this. Hey, what does this use for ammo? I bet it's gel. Whoa, big gun. Whoa! Jesus Christ. Okay, that's cool as fuck. So, damage and movement speed. What do I have that I could... Aerial speed, so that's annoying. Like, all of these things that increase my jump speed are just too good. I could replace this, I suppose. Like HP is nice, but... Oh yeah, and some dev wings, apparently. Oh wow, like really good mobility wings too. Pity I can't use them with boots. I like time 361. That's stupid. What an oddly specific number. This is Yarim's gift, not Yaron's gift. Alright, let's... Let's do yet another DPS check. Let's turn on our DPS meter. Sick as fuck. <laughs> oh, yes, I love it. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. Officially switching back to ranged. again. Oh yeah, this thing. Should I need some... Sh either these things or to be um, enraged fucking providence to get, apparently. Put this here for now. Apparently. 
All right, you're on soul fragments. What do you make? A new armor set? Uh, this thing. Some dye. Oh, they just craft. Oh, okay. Auric bar. Dragon fruit. Another life upgrade. Nice. I still don't know what ascendant soul fragments come from. I'm curious to see what this is. Oh, cosmic anvil. Okay. Uh, sure. Oh, that was a DM Dockero track. Nice. Good for him. Each fiery dragon in you have someone you gain one minion slot. So I need Plague Plate, Exodium Cluster. <coughs> And a demon altar. I don't know how well this works with the Tarragon sets, like Ranger bonus. I do not know what any of this means. Each fiery draconid you have summoned, you gain one minion slot, and I don't know what a fiery draconid is. Oh, let's try the, um... What's the set bonus on this? Press C to unleash Lost Souls of Poltergast. Sure. God. I love a loud gun. Oh yeah, I'm getting way more hits with this set as well. Jesus! Right, so, um, let's do the, let's go get that good good now, um, what does she mean by this, um, what I meant was go and get the Auric Ore. What's it even look like? It was in the caverns, right? Ancient Draconic Power manifests in the caverns, is himself through the rock, sure. Where is it? Um. and the hollow have spread so far because I've just not prioritized stopping it at all. Okay, 
Maybe it's further down. It could also be just specifically not in the hollow. Oh, I should read Yaron's, um... Oh, so those are his normal colours. Fruity. Each dragon once wielded nigh limitless power over their domain, a fundamental power drawn directly from the world's fragmented soul. Dragons were masters of all, life, death, even the great primordial light that banishes the eternal night beyond. And yet, one of these majestic beings reached a height of power... Uh... Possibly second only to their king. He who made his kind eternal through his powers of reverse, and yet even eternity did not last. Too bad, so sad. Nah, he was a real one. In multiple ways, apparently. Here we go. Whoa! I beg your fucking pardon? Wow, touching it causes that. Yeah, I guess it's just not in the hollow. What if there's a new kind of slime that drops this as well? Good sound design in this mod. I'll tell you what. Like this. know how to fight the slime god for real. I'm not yet seeing an auric slime, but springs eternal. Not. And ow! One block of it! It just catapults you backwards, it's so good. Oh, hello. And like, I have knockback immunity as well. From something. What's even giving me knockback immunity? Is it this? No, it's this. Yeah. Like, I want to see how far this knocks you back. Because I get stopped by a wall. Okay, not that far, but... I don't know why the power of, an, of a fire dragon causes electrical damage, but whatever, I respect it. Um, 
Cool. Got what I came for. Oh yeah, I also found um, a fun little quirk off stream. Apparently, the biome detection for the sunken sea is not dependent on your depth or the presence of water because I was using raw navy stone in the walls here and um, it turned this area into a sunken sea biome for the purposes of like pylon purchasing from NPCs and BGM if I had a shadow candle and it wasn't doing the town music anymore, so that was funny. Ended up swapping it out for abyss gravel. Wait, what's here? Oh, I think I accidentally planted a bunch of, like, black painted herbs at some point. Okay, the real question. Can I make bricks out of this new ore? How the fuck am I meant to get a cosmic anvil? What the fuck? Interesting. So, huh, I actually don't know what the next stage of progression is then, because how in the name of George do I get a cosmic anvil? Oh yeah, everything involving this needs a... Huh. Interesting. Is that like... Hmm. So, there's something else I'm missing, and I don't know what it is. Let's have a look at all of the, like, most advanced crafting ingredients I have available. Oh yeah, I have this thing because it can turn into a stupid gun, don't I? Yeah, the handheld tank. Shroomer, Iron Bard, Divine Geode, Tiger Skin. I'm going to actually see what this is. So I think Shroomer is probably just made with Shroomite bars. Call me crazy. I'm wrong. God, I do not know what any of this shit is. Um... Nope. Um, <sighs> Co 
Cosmic Anvil, how does one obtain a Cosmic Anvil? Wait. He said something new there. The Dragon Call has something locked in the dungeon they use to power their hexes. Apparently messing with it can lead you to another world. Wait a minute. There's more shit going on in the dungeon. Also, does Amidius have anything to say? Auric is near impossible to work with without being attuned to a dragon or using the claimed soul of a dragon to perform a mock attunement. However, if one can work with it, truly powerful things can be created, enough so that using it in anything was deemed heretical by the gods. The golden heretic, Yarim, possesses strength that may just surpass all of the gods. When you face him, be well prepared for the battle of your life. Fuck me. Draydon isn't a frontline fighter. He is a scientist and inventor. He is unlikely to face you directly and will likely have his creations confront you instead. Be prepared for anything that blasphemous machine could throw at you. Okay. Without being attuned to a dragon or using the claimed soul of a dragon to perform a mock attunement. If one can work with it. The Golden Heretic. That's a cool name. I'm just going to say it. It's not even like try hard or tuny or anything. That's just cool. Okay, let's hang on. I'm going to go to the dungeon in a little bit, but I do want to check something else. So I need, okay, I need Auric Bars to complete the decryptor in the code breaker, sorry. And that is what lets me meet Draydon, apparently. I also need endothermic energy, do not know where that comes from. Quantum cooling cell, fuck me. Still can't even make this. Okay, I'm just going to check all the crafting recipes I have with these in case I'm making something obvious. Weapon, weapon, cosmic candle, cosmic candle. Oh, like soul artifact. Like, does that have to do with... No, it can't. Do you not know what this means? Uh, Armored shell, I don't know what that is. Yep, Miracle Matter.
I like how Ram is put here amongst like Imp, Wyvern, Hydra. I think I have to go back to the dungeon, and I'm going to do that. So... Yeesh. What is it that I need to summon the, dis the Devourer of Worlds? Devourer of Gods, sorry. Yeah, Armored Shell, Twisting Another Dark Plasma. Stuff I don't have yet. Something locked in the dungeon they use to power their hexes. Apparently messing with it can lead you to another world. Well, let's go find out. Let's fuck around. I don't know why only one of those guys is there. But I'm not starting the... Um, call it the lunar event okay are there no enemies here no there we go actually I'm gonna go grab a um Oh, that's what that is, okay. Oh, I should have gone from the mushroom pylon again. So I'm going to the library. I'm assuming that's where I need to go. Like, hopefully that wasn't referring to just the, um, poltergeist, right? What the guide was saying. Man, I got a lot of fucking gravestones in here. Let's clear this out. in here. I do not know what I'm meant to do. So 
if they locked in the dungeon they use to power their hexes. Ugh, and what was what was the media is telling me? Yeah, nothing in this dialogue, but attuned to a dragon or using the claimed soul of a dragon to perform a mock attunement. What does that mean? <laughs> stop until I at least have like an idea of what I'm supposed to be aiming for. Cosmic Anvil. Cosmic Anvil requires Cosmolite Bar. Hey, hey, hey. So how do I get Cosmolite? Maybe if I go into space. I'll learn something. I don't know. I'm fucking reaching here. Or yeah, it just shoots little fucking blood projectiles. What is this? Hello? here. Oh my god, okay. Well, I'll, it's not Cosmolite, unfortunately. But, um, it is very interesting. I guess once I beat Moon Lord, a few of the meteors converted to this. Yeah, I forgot that was a weapon. saves me farming um, Moon Lord a few times in the future as well. That is whack. Put Luminite and Exodium cluster here for you. Oh, I guess there was a... probably a status message about this. Was this here before? I can't decide if these are new. I think these are new and weren't just like transformed when I from existing uh, meteors when I beat Moon Lord. They have presumably been there for ages and I just haven't noticed them, despite playing, like, off-screen a ton.
I'm also just blindly hoping that, like... I don't know what is happening there when I teleport. <laughs> Range weapons, fire blood, explosion orbs. No. Because of this. Flaming meteors rain down after getting hit. I don't know. I feel like these are new. Like they just weren't here before. Funny. Absolutely bodied. I don't know how to describe this shape. It feels like it's, it's trying to evoke something to me, but I do not know what. understand why Exodium Cluster can be placed as a block now. Oh, strange plant. Take that. Okay. Um, and I cannot leave this planet. trying to see if searching for a boss's name in the bestiary would tell you, would turn up uh, entries that say drops X item after, oh hello, you always have some new shit for me after a new boss. Dragon scales? No, that's not a progression item, that's just another weapon. No, there's no way this is, like, what you need to find Cosmolite or some shit, right? None of these slimes have anything to tell me. I do not know what, in what direction I am being led. Attuned to a dragon, or using the claimed soul of a dragon to perform a mock attunement. What does that even mean? It's not some drop that I missed, right? His treasure bag, his trophy, his relic, and the lore item. to um Like, 
Powering energy in the caverns, and I found it. It was Auric Ore. Auric Ore? Auric? I don't know. And it looks like it does specifically not generate in the hollow. So as not to interfere with the um, hollow ore, I guess. Not that it matters. Okay, hang on. Let's let's check something else. Um, no, wait. I already I already checked what I need to do to complete the code breaker, didn't I? That that needs the cosmic anvil. Yeah. What the fuck? Contact with its original creator. I also don't know where endothermic energy comes from, but. I guess I can go... Actually, who... There's no way permafrost tells me anything interesting now, right? Yeah. How are you gonna just not be useful to me? I don't get it. Oh yeah, like, half of the underground ice biome is just corrupted now. How does one attune to a dragon's soul? I'm kind of just hoping I'll encounter something that gives me endothermic energy here. I should probably um, buff spawn rates a bit. Like, I'm highly doubting it, because it doesn't give me any kind of message concerning um, something happening in the... You know what? No, I'm just gonna keep fucking around in the dungeon just in case that tip from the guide did not, in fact, have anything to do with Poltergast. Because messing with it did not take me to another world. It just summoned a scary ghost. I saw a pop star up here, and I was like, ooh, is it now? But no, it's just like a fucking paladin. Ah! Oh my god, Tech, you're raiding again. Hello. Thank you so much for the raid. How are you doing? I currently don't know what I'm doing because I've hit a point in progression where I just do not know what comes next. Um, let's see. Oh, I don't think I'm following you either, am I? I saw earlier you were streaming and I was like, wait, tech isn't in my followers list, but I didn't want to follow while you were streaming because I'm shy. Um, but yeah, how's it going? You Were you playing... Uh, you're doing more Linux test streams and I think you... Have moved on from Summoner. Were you doing Ranger? Locked in the dungeon. Yeah. Nice. What's your favorite may um, vanilla Ranger weapon? Humor me. Because I think mine is probably the chain gun, just because it's really loud. Yeah, Phantasm. Typical speedrunner answer. But no, the Phantasm is really, really good. Um, 
That's just perennial, yeah. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> it's just one of those things that just feels slightly overtuned for where it is in progression. I, I know exactly what you mean. What in God's name do I do? Because, like... I do not know why, by the way, whenever I teleport home, I get, like... These meteors coming down. I think it might be to do with one of my equipments, but... Yeah, I don't know. Flying flaming meteors rain down after getting hit, but... Yeah. Um... Yeah, because, like, I beat Yaron, the Dragon of Rebirth, and I've got Auric Ore now. But I need a Cosmic Anvil to fuse it with Yaron Soul Fragments into Auric Bars, but there's been no clue given to me as to how I obtain a Cosmic Anvil. Well, there's been one clue given to me, which is I can craft it from a Hard Mode Anvil... Yeah, this game, this game isn't so, this mod isn't so much about fighting bosses, it's about reading crafting trees. Um, like, I can make a cosmic anvil with this and these, and I have all of these, but I don't know how to get cosmolite. And as far as I know, there's been no clue so far how to do so, and I'm trying, like, very hard to do this playthrough without reading anything. Yeah, no worries. Thanks again for the for the raid. Really appreciate it. Good to see you. Is there like a boss that I can fight that I don't know about? Because I can't fight Devourer of Gods yet. Like I've established this. I need Armored Shell and Dark Plasma for that, and I do not know where those come from. There was no... Ancient Draconic Power manifesting the caverns, lacing itself through the rock. And that's that's Auric Ore. Like, there's no way this is... No, this is all the same stuff. Auric is impossible to work without being attuned to a dragon or using the claimed soul of a dragon to perform a mock attunement. This is... I have an idea. I don't like it. And it's probably wrong. Actually, wait. Um... Because I know Providence ate an Auric Soul... So maybe... No, no, hang on. God, I do not fucking know. Um... Okay, what is happening? Like, I came here before, and there was only one, one cultist here, and now there's none, but the lunar event hasn't started. What does that mean? <laughs> um, 
like, what is happening? Oh, come on. I really... I want to, like... I'm going to end stream soonish, but I, I really want to figure out what the fuck is going on. Like, I can't... Hang on. If I re-log, does anything... Oh, also, hello, Mario falling sound. I don't know if that you going whoa was you saying staying true to your namesake or um, just saying like whoa. Okay, no, I think I think the cultists just glitched out a bit. <sighs> what is happening? Um. Let's have a hard look at what she drops. The rune of cost summons um ugly. Oh no, it summons the um her providence's guardians. No wait. What does this summon? Oh no, yeah, no, it does summon um, the bad guy. Oh my god, I've forgotten his fucking name. A unique drop changes depending on the biome fortune. Enrages from fortune during night time. Ay, 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 this is aggravating. So she can drop a profane soul crystal. <sighs> Drops of providence was defeated only with the profane soul artifact. I do not know what that means. Like. But you know what? I'm prepared to find out. Does it mean that that's the only accessory I have equipped? Where the fuck did I put it? Here it is. There's no way I can beat her like this, right? Like, that's insane. Ah, uh, you know what? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. But also, it's a crafting material. Let's see. And I need shadow spit. No, no, this can't be necessary for progression. Like, I was thinking, like, Providence and the Law devoured a draconic soul, and thus maybe that's what I need to be able to work. Um, Auric Ore, but no, I don't think that is it. But maybe I'll just cope and fight her a bit. I think I can probably kill her pretty quickly now, right?
you're not going to drop anything different, right? weapons, but whatever, um, supposedly her drops depend on what biome you beat her in, but I do not know exactly what that means. Oh yeah, you get this die if you fight her at night when she enrages. Okay, it's these. You get the wings if you summon her in the Hallow. And the Aegis if you summon her in the Underworld. Okay, okay. And I am at a fucking loss. weapons already. <sighs> and I really don't want to have to look up how to get Cosmo Light. Or what to do after beating Yaron. Okay, I'm going to try one more thing. See if there's anything, like, new in the abyss. I think the strong insignia is what I want to change out. Ascendant insignia. Oops. Wrong pylon. sometimes makes you unable to fall faster. fighting the primordial worm like for real for real still don't know if i'm at that point though like it probably still just one shots me i don't even really know what i'm hoping for here. This is the first time I've been this stuck. Okay, hang on. 
I think I need um, flipper potions. That's more like it. Summon the idle on worm and see what the hell happens. Not the idle on worm, but an ordeal worm. Really at a loss. Um, like I started the stream saying I wasn't sure what the next step in progression was, but now I'm really not sure what the next step in progression is. Do I have to be Yaron again? I'm not doing that. I mean, not today. Alright, watch me die instantly. God, that thing still hits like a fucking truck. I can't dodge it, but if I can dash through it, I'm fine. Ooh. It didn't one-shot me, though. That's something. part of that is, I think I can beat that. Like, it's going to be really difficult. Okay, I do need to stop soon, but I will try that one more time.
Okay. Actually, if I'm going to be doing this anyway, might as well teleport in, right? Oh, wait, shit, I don't have a... Whoops. Long way it is. should make an abyss of Vesa. So I can get down here quicker. Fall straight. It's kind of a shame that my one guy who, if ever I have a question, will happily answer it isn't here. Century, I want. I think I want the fish one, one though. The old Duke one. I think I can do this. It's currently traveling across the entire map to fucking kill me. Oh god, what's happening? I just want to get the blessing, dude. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> Queen Bee style. But that's what I have to do to get Amidius' blessing back. I still count as in the boss fight, which is funny. Okay, I just heard its little... Jesus, okay, no, I can't read that. It two shots me, and I can't... And as soon as I take one hit, I lose Amidius' blessing, and then I'm on a timer, so I think I have to give up there. Um, I do not know what to do next. I don't know how I'm going to find out. But, uh, anyway, that's that for me tonight. Um, back on Wednesday, probably going to stream more Tiberian Sun. That'll be a fun time. And I'll hopefully see some of you then. So have a good night and bye bye. There are worms, there are worms in the garden underground. There are worms, there are worms, and they've made a little town. And they wriggle and they giggle and they help the garden grow. When the rain comes down, they come up to say hello. There are worms, there are worms in the garden underground. There are worms, there are worms, and they've made a little town. And they wriggle and they giggle and they help the garden grow. When the rain comes down, they come up to say hello. Worms, 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 worms in the garden. Worms, 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 worms in the ground. There are worms, there are worms in the garden under.